I'm Johnny. It's time for learning. Now, if you've been following religiously, which I know you have, because you are righteous, like all followers of Bunny Jesus, then you'll know that way, way, way back on my first episode, I talked about wanting to do an episode about learning. And it didn't work out. Instead, we got a first draft. But now, at the end of the first season, we're going to talk about learning. This will be the first of many, I'm sure, because this is a very important topic. When I first started this whole video blog thing, I was completely clueless. In fact, I was completely clueless as to how much of a rabbit hole this would be and how much stuff I'd end up learning. I could barely handle doing a jump cut inside of iMovie. I, I'm serious. Like, if it wasn't for Double AM, that guy, I wouldn't know how to do this. So, it kind of brings me to lesson one. When you're trying to learn something, the path is likely already there, and somebody else has probably gone through all this before. And chances are, it's somebody you know. So, ask. If you're learning anything worthwhile, like a new skill, how to draw, how to make techno, how to do video blogs, jumping off this cliff, know that you're just going to be fighting yourself and your own inexperience. You're going to have this idea of what you want, which if you have good taste is probably going to be super awesome. And what you're going to come up with is not that. And that's simply a fact that you just have so much stuff you don't know. You just have to get experience. So Get in there quick. Lesson number two, pick a tool that's easy and cheap. I mentioned iMovie before, that's where I started. It's not particularly good, it's easy and it's cheap. Aim low and fire often. Lesson number three, look, learning is about doing and finishing. Do and finish. There's not much more to it than that. Let the rubber hit the road. Aim low, fire. Lesson number four, fail. Lesson number four, fail often and laugh about it. At about this point, you're starting to learn all the things that you don't know about. You're starting to learn that, hey, there's a lot more to this than I first thought, that I first expected. The hardest part of learning is learning what you don't know. Because once you learn what you don't know, then you can turn it to stuff that you know. You know, it's the unknown unknowns that are the hard part. The known unknowns you can deal with and you can learn. So you can see how this applies to my video blog, for instance. Way back in the beginning, no idea. Now I've got something of an idea, but that's just it. I've only got an idea after six months. And this is awesome. This is what makes it so worthwhile. I have so much to look forward to. More about cuts, more about the process of editing, more about the process of speaking on camera, more about what symbols mean in a visual medium like this. There's so much. It's going to be so much fun. Lesson number five, because you know, all things come in fives. And this is where I'm at right now, is outgrow your tool. That tool that was cheap and easy back in the beginning, you're going to have to outgrow it. And that's fine. Don't get caught up on your tools. But just know that you're probably going to make a, a 480p video and not a full HD one. Or maybe even a directory full of PNGs instead of a video once in a while. Yes, there's always some learning curve. But that's what makes it exciting, and that's what helps you progress as an artist. The real trick, though, is in order for you to run, you gotta crawl first. Tips for single guys from Justin. Learn how to cook at least one decent fucking meal. So, it's been a long time coming, and this ends season one. And remember, kids, learning is fun.